Hey, told you I wasn't gonna slack on these Wednesday videos. I'm filming it on Sunday. These next three months coming up, we have the special videos. We have the horror movie ones for this lovely month of October. We have the who I'm thankful for in the lovely chilly month of November. And we have the scary Christmas legends, or I might just change it to scary legends, considering we're running out of Christmas ones to do in December. That'll turn into probably just scary legends. But anyway, so I'm going to be doing this and I'm filming this on Sunday so that, you know, I can get it out by Wednesday. They'll be coming out later on Wednesday, Wednesday evening, because I don't have an assistant that can put them up for me or anybody home that could put them up for me. And um, I work until 430. So they will be going up in the evening time, but you can still enjoy them here. So. If you forget how we do this, I'll tell you. We'll read the plot, I will put a clip of my favorite clip of the movie, and then I'll talk about my rating 1 out of 10. Before I start this video, I just want to say I had watched these last two recently, so the Marked Ones and the Ghost Dimension, which we're going to talk about, ending the Paranormal Activity series. Um, so. We recently watched the Mark Ones and the Ghost Dimension again because our friend wanted to see all the movies before the new one comes out on Paramount+. Plus. And I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so we were showing them to her and we recently watched this one on Friday and we watched the Mark Ones again. The Marked Ones probably, I know I gave it a bad rating, but it wasn't as bad the second time through. And then this one was better than the first time I remember watching it. I'd say the fifth one is better than this one. Second watch through this one still didn't really get my uh, my interest, but the clip I'm going to show you is the part that gets my interest. Anyway, so let's jump into it and do this before I get too ahead of myself. So, the plot. In 1988, Katie and Christy watch as Dennis's spine is crushed by a mysterious force. Grandma Lois takes the girls upstairs while the entity takes the camera with them. A man speaks to the girls about Toby and how they are important to his plan. 25 years later, in 2013, Ryan Flegel, his wife Emily, and their six-year-old daughter Leela, uh, we think it should be pronounced Layla, but they pronounce it Leela, so that's how we're going to pronounce it, Leonid. are about to celebrate Christmas when Ryan's brother Mike moves in after breaking up with his girlfriend. Along with them is Skyler, who notices that Leela is talking to an imaginary friend named Toby. Mike finds a box full of videotapes dating from 1988 to 1992 and a very large video camera. The tapes show a young Christy and Katie with their mother Julie and her boyfriend Dennis in 1988, while others from 1992 are in Lois's house where the two are practicing supernatural abilities with the mysterious man. Ryan and Mike notice that the girls are seemingly aware of the pair's presence. They are able to foresee Ryan and Mike's every action as the two simultaneously watch the video. Leela's interactions with Toby coincide with Ryan using the old camera around the house, where he notices the camera picks up spiritual beings. He decides to record overnight to see what weird things are occurring. One night, a black figure arises out of the ground and hovers over Layla for several, or Leela for several hours. You know, I'm going to say this girl's name wrong because they say it weird in the movie. And she eventually talks to it. Soon, Skylar is attacked by the spirit. The next night, Ryan tapes Leela sleeping, but a demonic spirit appears and forces him to drop the camera. The following day, Ryan and Emily discover a slab of concrete in the ground with Katie Christie and the year 1987 etched into it and realize their house is built on the same property that Katie and Christy used to live in before it burned down in 1992. The grown-up Katie sold the house to the family, which was built by a coven of witches called the Midwives. Leela gradually becomes less talkative, and Ryan and Emily call Father Todd. Leela attacks Todd, and he is convinced that Toby is a demon linked to the cult. Ryan researches the cult and realizes they killed a family in Nevada related to a boy named Hunter who was born on the same day as Layla. One of the tapes also shows Hunter in 1992, despite not being born until 2005. He learns that Layla's blood is needed to finish Toby's transformation into a physical being. One night, Layla's interaction with Toby leads her to open a doorway to another world into which she disappears. 
Ryan and Emily find her and flee with her to a hotel. Father Todd attempts to cleanse the house and trap the demon, but is strangled and dragged away by Toby, leaving the family to finish the cleansing. Ryan entraps the demon in a white sheet soaked in holy water and finishes the prayer. Leela returns to normal and the demon disappears. After thinking the ordeal is over, Skylar starts to vomit blood all over Mike, but the blood burns him, killing them both. Layla flees and Ryan and Emily chase her, but Ryan is killed when a large arm impales him through the chest. Layla sprints into the portal in her room with Emily following. She arrives at Christy and Katie's mother's house in 1992, where she finds a young Katie and confronts the human version of Toby. Emily pleads with the demon to spare Leela, but is killed. Her body is tossed at the camera. Leela and Toby walk off as the camera cuts, ending the film. Now it says there's an alternate ending. So we're going to read the alternate ending, which I did not see, but this sounds freaking creepy. Alternate ending. Layla turns back to normal. Four months later, the family begins to move to another house. Ryan finds a VHS tape of young Katie and Christy, but decides to destroy the evidence to avoid bringing the demon back. Emily turns to find Leela with younger Katie and Christy holding hands as she states, Look, Mommy, my friends are here. The next scene, set sometime later, shows a pregnant Emily at Leela's seventh birthday party. Leela wishes for a baby brother. The man from the videos appears and picks up Leela as everyone celebrates. The film ends there. Ah! So, that gave me chills. I kind of want to see that. I'm going to look for that on the internet. But anyway, my favorite clip I'm going to put in here. My friends are here. My favorite, oh. my favorite, you're going to get her commentary. My favorite clip I'm going to put in here. Um, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Where is she? Lilo! And now we're back. Uh, you saw that clip. Um, it's a doozy. Uh, I love it. Um, by the way, the, the next Paranormal Activity movie that's coming out on Paramount Plus, they're not continuing what you just saw. That's how the movie ends. They're, they're not doing anything with it. No, of course not. Nope. So uh, our friend was outraged. Well, first to of find all, that we out. told her that's what we've been holding in this entire time. And she's like, how did you hold that in? And it's like, I don't know. But we did. Yeah, and um, 
you know, she was outraged. I was outraged. Kelly back there was outraged. I'm sure any fans of the franchise watching this are outraged when they found that out too, because that's public knowledge now. I think they should have done a movie about how the midwives coven came to be. Maybe it is. I don't know, but I think they should do that. Let me know in the comments if you agree. Anyway, so my rating is um, 6 out of 10. Uh, still not great. Um, I, I liked it. Um, I feel like, I feel like it was a little, not, I just feel like, okay, it's like we saw the demon, but I feel like the whole lead up to what the demon looked like just wasn't as, you know, interesting as it could have been. And I, I feel like they could have done some things better. And I didn't like Mike at all. Like his brother. I, I, I didn't like that character. I felt like he was being unnecessary at times. Um, the tapes were my favorite thing to watch. Um, them putting two and two together that they were watching them. That was my favorite part of the entire film. Um, and the clip I'm going to show you, that's my favorite part of the entire film. Um, I don't think I need to put a trigger warning in this. No, spoiler no. warning. I mean, you guys know by now, all these videos are spoilers. I tell you I'm going to read the plot. So if you haven't watched the movie and I'm reading the plot, you might not want to watch this video because I'm reading what happens. But most of you who watch these videos have either seen the horror movie or have never heard of these movies before. If you want to watch this movie, it's on Amazon Prime. To rent or, to rent buy. or buy. Same thing with the marked ones. Same thing with... Well, actually, Paranormal Activity 4 is on Hulu. Yeah, like... Paranormal Activity 3. 3 is on Prime Video and 1 and 2 are on Stars. Yeah, 1 and 2 are on Stars. Three was on Prime Video, four was on Hulu, and Marked Ones and Ghost Dimension are on Prime. I mean, they're all probably on Prime. Yeah, but... For free. For free, you can watch the first stars. two on Stars and the fourth or one on Hulu. So anyway. Yeah, but next series of horror movies that we're doing to continue this series are The Conjuring Universe. Um, because these are my two favorite universes of horror movies. There is one horror movie in the Conjuring universe I have not watched yet. I will find a way to watch it, and then I'll do it, but we're probably not going to have enough weeks to get there. Um, because we only, well, we have this, this week. We have, like, three more. Yeah, we have three more after this Which week. Which gets you through Conjuring to 1, 2, and yeah, so we'll just do the three conjurings, uh, and then we'll pick up with Annabelle next year. But, um, yeah, so... Annabelle and the Nun. The Nun is so freaking weird. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that when we get there. It's so freaking weird. And they're making another one. Oh, well, we'll get, we'll get there when we get there. I'm, I'm jumping ahead. Y'all gotta remind me. I gotta, I gotta stay... So we finished Paranormal Activity. Yay, you guys can watch the other ones that I did if you haven't, because engagement. Um, you know, so yeah. Um, that's all I have to say. Six out of ten. I feel like some things could have, be ex could have been executed better, but the editing special effects were a lot better in this movie than the others. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say, so.